Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name's Cougar. This of course is the Technician's Corner. We're working on a Precision 7520 here. Uh, and this is a little bit of an older model at the time that I did this. Uh, as you can see, I'm starting to take some of the screws out. Obviously, I already have the back plates off. The upper plate, you don't necessarily need to take off. I just have it out of the way because of uh, I'm going to be checking and looking at some other things here later on with this, um, but we won't get into that. Four screws, and that takes out the standard style hard drive there. Uh, you can see just below that to the left is actually the slot for the M.2 style uh, SSDs. And uh, here we're taking out the, well, it's basically yellow cellophane tape that uh, they use to hold the little clips down. Now this has uh, a few of the flat ribbon cables, three of them, sometimes there can be four. Uh, once you get those loose, then all you need to do is work on taking out this, uh, basically it's just, it's just a bezel piece, uh, a cover piece that goes over the keyboard itself. It covers the uh, screws that are on there, as you can see, once I pry off the, the top, it can be removed fairly easily and uh, not a lot of difficulty there. There are a handful of screws, a few across the bottom edge on either side of the space bar. There are a few up inside where the keys are at as well. Uh, so you can kind of see where I'm pulling some of those out from. Uh, now here we want to take and pry this up because there are still the little studs that it seats down and snaps into. And then from there you just need to fish out the, uh, the cables, uh, which you can just do by reaching underneath here like I'm doing and making sure that the end of the cable feeds out past there is a little plastic strip that they get caught on. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't know that the camera couldn't see that. But next, just... Putting in the new one, uh, as you can see, the three cables just slide right in. Uh, when you do this, you will have to make sure that the top seats in because there are little clips at the top that need to be, get seated in first. And then you can snap down the bottom. Uh, obviously, as you can see, there is the little plastic piece that I was talking about and making sure that those cables are underneath it and have been pulled to where they need to be because sometimes they can bind up. Uh, then you just make sure to snap down on either edge. There are clips on the sides that hold it down as well. And then it's just putting all the screws back in uh, basically the same way we took them out. Now of course here you can see I'm just getting the bezel piece snapped in. Uh, I start at the bottom and work my way up on either side and then kind of around. And then the big thing is you also need to make sure that you go down through in between the keys as you can see I'm doing here. Uh, there are certain areas where that does snap down uh, so that it seats down below the keys. If you don't do this uh, when you're typing on it you'll you can catch the key underneath the edge of it as well. It'll feel kind of strange when you're typing. Now the last thing in terms of the keyboard is just basically getting these ribbon cables put back into the slots. Uh, when you do that, there are little, uh, usually little round edges that have to get seated in and pressed flat. Last, you'll just seat those clips back down and make sure that the tape is put on, and that'll do it. My name's Cougar. This has been Technician's Corner. I'd like to wish you all a good day, and I will see you later. Bye!